issues regarding the rural city main market controversially came to limelight a year ago after it emerged that the stalls were erroneously allocated to vendors with some government officials alleged to be occupying some of the rooms. While the visit of the committee reactivated emotions of the vendors who started accusing politicians and technocrats in the city for being responsible for this market mess, Mauzu Adiru, a cloth vendor occupying a stall in the second floor of the main market, lamented how their businesses are collapsing because of the scattered market. <laughs> Right Honorable Asuga Rasul, the Speaker for Central Division Arua City Council, castigated the visit by PAC members for not being straightforward to address the root cause of the problem, but rather focusing on diversionary issues in the market. Uh, the coming of PAC to me is, is, is a good thing, uh, but the unfortunate bit is uh, them not understanding the real cancer of the main market. <laughs> you see, people have just been addressing to them symptoms, but uh, they have not clearly told them where the cancer is. And that is why when the minister came some months ago, he, he had about 10 guidelines on how to resolve the issue of the main market. But because the cancer was not identified and addressed up to now, uh, the, the, the main market issue has remained unresolved. So not, a, not unless uh, the, the main issue or the main disease, the main cancer is, is handled. He also blamed the authorities for not minding about allocation of stores to the former tenants. Uh, when the market was constructed under the MATIP2 program, initially there were less than uh, 60 lockups. But when the market was constructed, uh, about, about 90 plus uh, lockups were created, plus stores. But the unfortunate bit is, even when there were 60 people in the, in the initial market, now when the new market was constructed and there were now more than 60 lockups, those 60 vendors who were in the, in the, in the the initial market unfortunately missed their own lockups. So it is this disgruntled former tenants of the then Aroa Municipal Council, but now of Aroa City Council, who have decided now to walk away because they realize that they are not given what they are supposed to be given. So not unless these issues are addressed, the main market issue will remain unresolved. So. Muzaid Kemis, the mayor for Central Division Arua City, described the visit by the PAC committee MPs as very important to get views from the public regarding affairs of the main market. I have uh, taken it as uh, a positive visit because uh, there are a lot of areas. Their visit is never like uh, accountability visit, like where the PAC comes and uh, and uh, arrest people, do this. But their this is for the betterment of the town. That is to my own understanding and to what I analyzed from their various speeches. They wanted people to have their say. And they basically they were looking to the issues concerning the, the, the market. That is basically that is what they were very much interested in. And they, we went with them, they visited the market. They saw the huge number uh, of stores that were still free. People gave their reasons. And the, and the, and the, and the here, the city was uh, very embarrassing. Eh? 
It's very embarrassing because the whole room was saying uh, political interference, the interference with the politicians. So some of us were wondering. Hmm? We, 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 we were wondering what has happened exactly. Hmm? The deputy RCC for Central Division Arua City, Mr. Zamaham Zamil, welcomed the oversight tour in the main market by the Public Accounts Committee MPs. It is, it is, it is within their mandate. They are supposed to come, whether they write to us, whether or not, they, will, they have to come when they come. We must pave way to allow them to do their work. And we give them necessary support. That's why my senior was able to mobilize us to go and they have uh, attended the meeting. They went to the market, they have seen what they are supposed to do. They will also have their report, which they will present to the parliament. In any case, if it affects, I came here when the, the market was already in that confusion. Actually, the, the, the best person to be asked should have been the division mayor. Why is this one happening? Because he supervises the town clerk. It is within his mandate, within his role, to make sure that the town, the street must be very clear. The committee delegation leader, Honorable Dr. Isingoma Patrick, who is also the MP for Hoima City, affirmed that their committee is going to closely follow up on these challenges affecting the market so that they can be addressed. But the issue of the roadside, those up, up next shift markets are going to be addressed. We are going to be follow, following up in our way. Because we, we shall be communicating as the committee to find out how the stage, how the matter is getting you know, addressed. We are waiting, we shall be following up on his office and all the people who are, who are, who are, who are responsible for this, to sort, to sort out this matter. But of course it is urgent. It is very urgent. And uh, I'm sorry to say, what I'm saying that this matter of sorting out this issue of street vending is very urgent. Very urgent. So as our commitment, yes. please let it be handled and it will be addressed as quickly as possible. Please. Recent report from the Office of the Resident City Commissioner for Red City indicated that over 700 stalls have remained unoccupied as vendors continue with street vending and unorganized markets that are outside the main market building.